Hi. We're back. It's Ken, Cam, and Savannah. Little Ladles, Bold Woman in Black History. Both Alice's mother and grandfather were photographers. And as a child, she developed an interest in the chemical used in photography. She went to college in her hometown of Cedo and earned not one, but two degrees in pharmaceutical chemistry. Pharmaceutical chemistry. But Alice defied expectations and her so circumstances. circumstances by seeking an education in a career in science. 1915, Alice became the first woman and the first African American to graduate. It wasn't until the 1970s that historians, historians, the historians unearthed the truth and worked to ensure that what that Alice got credit for an important discovery. What about her made them think that she wasn't capable of finding that type of discovery? She was black. Yeah. Black woman. Yeah. The University of Hawaii recognized her for her work. Hawaii declared February 29th Alice Bird. <laughs> Alice's, Alice Ball's mom and dad were photographers. Okay. Oh, I remember this woman, Kathleen. Yeah, we're back and we learned a lot this week. We made a homeschool travel wish list. And I have a lot of places on the mom. This week, we um, our main focus was to open up deeper geography studies, and you guys know that everything that we study in a school is directly related to what we want to happen in life. So um, we started building our travel wish list, and uh, I asked the kids to sit down with their clipboards and a piece of paper and write out all the places that they wanted to go. I thought maybe they would have one, two, or three things on their list and it turned into a whole situation. So did you do a list too? You know I have a list. I have so a very why? Long so I'm list. the only one who didn't do a list. You're the only one who didn't do a list. How come I wasn't included? I don't know. I did not do a list. I did see Savannah's list. She was walking around with it. It is quite lengthy. It's long. Yeah, it's long. <laughs> week you guys is to map out the places that we want to go um, and in order for us to dive a bit deeper into studying those different places we did the uh, United States of America puzzle she I did the world puzzle was a bit challenging but I really liked it
followed for a while, then you know that, you know, traveling with our little family is big on our list because we want to take all those things that we've been studying inside of this little schoolroom of ours and bring it outside of our classroom, schoolroom, discovery room doors. So now I think it's time to get a little bit more aggressive about that. So the kids and I decided to start a little jar um, to start tossing our little coins and dollar bills into um, as we prepare to kind of travel more together. I went to the passport office. That was my contribution. Ours expired, but the kids have never had passports, so I'm in the process of, of getting that. Y'all okay. all have passports for all y'all's kids? Y'all know how much that cost? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so while I'm at home mapping out a homeschool travel wish list, you were out getting all of our passports ready. Uh, I wanted to go to a lot of places. Vermont, Maine, Georgia, Asia, North oh, yeah. America, South America. Oh yeah. And another, and another boom. This is too easy. <laughs> you say that? I do. I say it all the time. It's the green turtle. Which ocean do you find the green turtle, Mama? Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. Oh, Anna. What? <laughs> <laughs> the Siberian tiger. Asia. Asia. since we don't, um, and we're just trying to learn from them. this new club with my friends. Then we went to the park. We found two huge green praying mantis that were like this big. It was really cool. Yeah, so we're just starting with our deeper geography studies and our homeschool travel wish list. We're starting our little jar to save up for our travels and Brian went out and got passports for us. I'm surprised how much they know like about these different places or know just what places they, they know about. Like, yeah. what is a Tonga? What is Tonga? Oh, you guys. So, um, we are always highlighting different places that we read about in our books and we have our maps all over our room. We have uh, geography puzzles. Puzzle. I think the books and probably help. What? They definitely help. Miss Cameron was talking about Syria. He's reading a book that has to do with the conflict with Syria. <laughs> what is the setting of your book? Aleppo, Syria. Okay, can you find it for me? It's in 
There's your light. Here it is. See me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. What language do they speak in Aleppo? Every Syrian citizen has a national identification card that displays the bearer's name, address, date of birth, and national identification number. Ethnicity? Ethnicity. Ethnicity. And then. <laughs> Ethnicity. I'm just taking the time out to ask them where is that on the map. And then they have to go and find it. And then we look at the countries that are surrounding it. Felix and Macy made, made friends with Rain and Haley. But until now, they didn't know they were cousins. No way. Who were cousins? Rain, Haley, and Macy and Felix. So where are they in your book? London. They were in they were in Scotland. Oh, and what continent is London? Oh, Europe. Really? And what about Scotland? Europe. <laughs> Why do you want to go to Tonga? Because um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be fun. And there's going to be a lot of ocean there that we can see. Beautiful fish and the, the whales and the fish. What else? Well, maybe I could scuba dive ah. and see the leaves. I would really like to do that. Go all the Tonga is by Australia. Australia. Ah, good advice. That's not advice. <laughs> It's to the fault. You're so cute. It's to, the, it's to them. What, while we scuba dive, we can take our GoPro under the water. Perfect. So, um, I walked down my travel list because I wanted to travel places. Like Why do you want to travel, Savannah? Because, because, so I can discover more animals on the wall. So what were some things that you put on your travel wish list? Florida and North Carolina. We already went to both of those places, but I want to go there again. Do you like going to new places? Yes. They're really fun. It's, it's like getting to know a friend. Except the friends is the whole world. So one really cool thing that happened is we were watching a documentary and it ended up being that they were looking at the whales in And who else do we know that has been to Tonga? The Buckaloos family. We watched this family called the Buckaloos family, and it's our favorite family to watch. So, oh, Gerald and Jessica. And then the kid's name is, they have three kids. The, their name is, um, Dorothy is the oldest. She's seven. And Manella is four, I think. Four. Manella is four years old, and the baby is Callie. I think he is two. So we got Callie as one. I decided to write Dorothy a letter. Dear Dorothy, my name is Savannah. I live in New Jersey with my family and have two brothers just like you. Because I'm the youngest and you're the oldest, right? I want to tell Dorothy a letter because I wanted to see if she could teach me how to swim because she swims so good. Better than Carolyn. <laughs> She's better than you. Yes, she is. She thinks that Dorothy is better at swimming than me. You have she scuba dives in the ocean, and she's so good. Um, she goes down a big, big blue slide, and down because big, big blue slide leads to the ocean.
description. Um, what are some animals that you know in different places that maybe you would like to go and see and visit? Well, an anaconda, but I want to be like feet away from it. Feet, no, miles. Anyway, I really like to explore and ride my bike, but I also like to eat. Anyway. Actually, that's a good thing because it would be really cool if you were able to learn how to cook in different places oh, of the world. I really like to cook too. I saw this video in an app called Marco Polo World School. It has a food section and there was a green deer named Chester and he did a little quiz about Chinese dumplings. What do Chinese dumplings have a special link with? Birthdays. <laughs> Or Chinese New Year. That answer was Chinese New Year. When in China, it is supposed to be good luck in the New Year. Would you like to learn how to make dumplings in China? Sure. That is a far journey, but I'm up to it. You're so cute, Kendall. <laughs> we are. <laughs> August 27th, 2019. Today I learned about whales. A special person named Darren wants everyone to know about the ocean. He loves it. And it shows you where they are and which ocean they're in. Where are they? The South Pacific Ocean. Tonga. I really like the way he wants to discover the ocean and everyone to know about it. Um, but the really cool thing is we were watching uh, the documentary series that I love. It's called Tales by Light and one of the episodes he, uh, the photographer, wanted to photograph the um, humpback whales in Tonga. And so I had the kids point Tonga out to me on the map and on our globes and then Savannah was like, I think the bucket list family went to Tonga. And I said, you know what? I think you're right. They are one of our favorite families. I have been following them from the very beginning. And we love watching their videos together. And so she remembered that their family had been to Tonga, which we thought was really, really cool. So yeah, we've written out our homeschool travel wish list. And of course, one of the big ones on the list is to go to Tonga with the Bucket List family. Mm -hmm. So, Garrett, Jessica, Dorothy, Manila, and Callie. That would be fun. It's a huge fun. dream of ours yeah. to travel with you. Okay. The person who says roll call is supposed to say everyone's name. Roll call. Daddy here. Mommy. Here. Kendall. Here. Savannah. Here. Cameron. Here. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Alright, that's a wrap. Yeah. Well, Kendall, please be careful. Please be careful. Go. Please be careful. Nice we love you, Bucket This Family. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. And remember, life is full of lessons. So, so we, we live, live and we learn. learn. Best okay.